I don't, right, I don't mind having it done, but I what don't What did he like... do to you in Tesco? He frightened me at 11 o'clock in the night after he'd been at Culver Dam. Why? That is not necessarily true. That is taken out of context. Jesse, what what were you, a I, young gay man, doing at the top of Culver Down at 11 his, o'clock in the evening? I was with his friend, and um, we were going to look at lasers from Southampton. Uh, oh, I've heard that yeah, I was up on the downs looking no, at a laser no, story. No, the Southampton Guildhall is now having lasers coming out the side from it to welcome people to Southampton. I wanted to go and see. I don't like this. What's going no, on? No, you look good, Jesse. Very awesome. Honestly, you do finished. look good. It uh, looks fantastic. Well, I'd like a hat now, please. A lot of people will be going out, and if they haven't got uh, Sermon TV on Sky Satellite, they'll be going out and buying a satellite dish this afternoon and saying to um, Island Aerials or uh, GJ Aerials or those other uh, people, uh, please come and install... Uh, who's that? Studio phase as well. Please come and install my satellite this afternoon so I can see Jesse on this new Big Air on the Dot makeover show. That's it, you're all finished. I'm Am I? Finished. Yeah. I don't like, no, he's not finished, he's clumpy. No, no, leave the clump. <laughs> no. Leave, leave the clump. No, so, you I cannot demand, just not right, do give it. Me, give me those. Look at me. That's my hair. Right. That you look really cool. fantastic. <laughs> I want you it back. You look fantastic, Jesse. Right, OK, can you bring in the tattooist, please? No, not really, Jesse. No, we do that this way. We would like to get your ears pierced, though. I don't want my ears. I can see you with two really big. I don't like this. Earrings. Oh, you look fantastic. There's, hang on, look at that, right? I can't obviously see, but I can feel there's about an inch of hair there. No, that's fine. You're no, starting. It's not. You finish it. The clump. I want that. Oh, one nine If you want to give us a call about Eurovision oh. or the new look, Je don't oh, hit the sorry, microphone. Phone. Uh, the new look, Jesse. Crap. We are back with the new look, Jesse. Now you, your headphones are over the clump. Take, put your headphones around the back. Right. They like Foxy wears. So oh, like, right, tip yeah, them back. Like like look at the clump. I think the clump could be the new look for two thousand and seven. See, I, I didn't mind. I was all. I don't mind. Oh, I like your t-shirt. Oh yeah, it's horrible. I had to wear because I don't want. Um, Claire, hair, Claire on my nice clothes. I don't want hair on my nice clothes. <laughs> We've heard you don't want Claire uh, all over you. Who was the boy you were up on the top of the downs with watching the... No, uh, I wasn't on the top of the downs. We went to Benridge to see the light show. What was his name? I'm not saying, right? But there was nothing suspicious. I just wanted to see the lights. That what lights? Like. Well, apparently from Southampton Guildhall, if you live in the south coast, you will know what I'm all about. Um, Southampton Guildhall, a very big building in Southampton, well, they um, have put lasers on it to welcome people to Southampton. So, you know, Portsmouth have got the mm. Spinnaker Tower. Mm. Paul have got the RNLI and Sunseeker. The RNLI have got the new hairstyle for 2007. Yeah, and the clump. The clump. Right, so you, and why did you, uh, you know... Because I wanted to see these lights. And when they weren't running, I rang up a certain place and said, excuse me, are the lights running today? And they went, oh, no, it's a trial period. It stopped. So as soon as we found out they weren't on... And there you are, telling other people to get a life. Who was the young lad you're up on the downs I'm not with? saying. Why? No, because... No, because you'll turn it into... Oh, you're up on the downs. So it doesn't matter. There's nothing suspicious about right, it. Right, so then you went to Tesco. Then I went to Tesco on the Why did you go to Tesco at 11, 11.30 at night with a, a, a young Honestly, man? Honestly? Yeah. To buy some cigarettes. Right, and what did you do to young Sarah Burridge there from Snow's BMW? I saw young Sarah Burridge with... Um, someone else I know, and I thought it would be highly hilarious to run up and scare them, because, of course, Tesco, 11 o'clock on the night. But you didn't have that no haircut, then? No, I didn't have that haircut, then. Um, and so I rang up, ran up, it was quite empty, and shouted really loudly at them to scare them. Well, you're ridiculous. I think that's funny. But I, I really do think, Jesse, we need pictures of you on the Island White Radio website for those who aren't watching Sun and TV, uh, iwradio.co.uk. Keep the clump. I'm not the keeping clump, the clump. The clump could be so you know what? It's really scary. 07. I... Often people have said to me, oh, you've got a receding hairline. I'm like, no, I haven't. I really haven't. No, Look it's a high hair. I've got that. It's called a high hairline. Yeah, but you have got receding no, hair. No, rubbish. Look at that. I look a bit Spider Dennis on Waterman front. on the TV there, I admit, but it's just a high hairline. Oh, okay. I've got a complete full head of hair, which is more than we could say for you. Well, but the clump is happening, Jesse. The clump doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. Well, you haven't seen You haven't looked in well, the I mirror. Can see it. I can see in the studio window over there. Anyway, the clippers have, been, have got no charge left in there. Oh, so that's... stuck with the clump. <laughs> All right, 01983822002. I want to hear from Roy the Whipper Man. Roy, yesterday I called you stupid. And I felt dreadful for the rest of the day. Please, Roy, phone up now and let me apologise uh, to you live on the air. And anyone else who wants to give us a call, 01983822002. That guy at the Bagel Wrap, he shaves his hair. Um, Nigel, 
He shaves his hair, Nigel Smith. We're going yeah, down there. Well, on I Friday. can say it's an experiment that I probably I won't do it again. I'm not disappointed, but I I find myself looking a bit scary. Please, please. I look like Simon Shh. Butler. The clock is on. Roy the Whipperman, call me now. Let me give you the apology you so richly deserve. You have to get the Hoover in in a minute. You can Hoover it. I'm not Hoovering it. I'm not Hoovering it. Your, your idea. idea. Line one, who's that? Hello, it's Mick here. Alan, Mick Jagger, how are you? Yeah, fine, thanks. Good. I'm just wondering about um, Simon, you know, in the DVD. Uh, Simon has got your, you've got his details. I've given him your details, uh, your name and address. He's going to send you the DVD of you on Solent TV. Okay. Aren't you, Simon? Yeah. Do you promise? Promise. When will he have it by? Uh, see me in the post is by Friday. You'll get it by Friday. If you don't get it by Friday, you call me. Okay. Thanks ever so much. Thanks, Mick. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Hi, who's that? Hello, oh, Alex. Yeah. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, who's that? All right. It's Mr. X. I went to school with you. Who is it? Mr. X. Oh, hello, Mr. X. How are we in delay? Yes, we oh, are. So Mr. X, I used to go to school with yeah, you. Yeah, I was thinking delay. the same thing. Hang on, Mr. X. I just want to. Yeah, we are in delay. Hello, Mr. X. Go ahead. Hello. I've never known you to have your head shaved. You've never known me to have my head shaved? No. Yeah, I did in 2000, summer 2000, I had my head shaved. I did it for the Kerry Green Trust, and we did it live on air. Yeah, I can't remember that. And I've seen photos of it, I remember now, yeah. yeah. And it really didn't suit me, I looked like a thug. Well, if Jesse had his head shaved completely, then? Yeah, apart from the clump. Well, yeah, but is it just graded, or was it actually shaved for a shaver phone? Oh, it's just, sh what, what is it, is that a grade one? Grade Can one. we get it any lower? No, I don't want it any yeah. lower, this is good Look enough for me. Get some shaver phone. Sorry? Warm water and shave it with a, shave, a big razor. Yeah, with a real razor. Yeah, no. see, it won't hurt him. Well, yeah, because then if we get blood, the ratings are sore. Yeah, well, they might do, but I would end up looking more... I look freaky. Can I just have a look at the... Uh, uh, um, hi, who's, who's that? Oh, Roy, Eric. Oh, hello, Roy, how are you? Hello, uh, mate, there's no need to apologise. It was the way the phone in went, and that was it, so... No need to apologise, mate. OK? But, Roy, you're such a lovely man, and I called you, so I said you were being stupid. Yeah, uh, that's all right. That's the way things go, isn't it? All right, OK. okay. Thanks very much. You sure you don't want the clump? I'm oh, no, you're I'm not going to come around and finish it. I'm going to come and get the clump. Can I ask honestly, right, is there any danger of him now injuring me now there's no... No, of course not. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, look, what are you doing? No, you're doing a line down the middle of my head. Ow! That hurts. It's too long. No, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it! Ow, that hurts! Well, you can't have you with a grey Ow! Blood. This is funnier, Jesse. <laughs> it's not this that... is much funnier. Ow, that genuinely hurt. Ow! I think you're cutting into my skull. What, what am I doing wrong, then? Oh, do it that way. That's it. Oh, I was, I'm what sorry. What are you doing? Hurt? Yes, a lot. Yeah, I was doing it wrong. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Jesse, honestly, you are going to be the talk of London's West End and Paris. There'll be cocktails named after you. Will there? Yeah, because are you the... cutting everything but the clump? I mean, I'm just making the clump stand out more. <laughs> I'm, going to be, I'm going to be on Judy and Richard doing hair soon. You're going to, leave a nice You're going to be in court there. soon. There we are. Look at this, Jesse. I, ow, that hurt. I actually... Oh, I mean, I don't mind you doing it. I was going to have it done anyway. But the fact that you choose to do it just worries me a little bit. It's like letting loose someone with a fetish for knives in a knife shop. What do you reckon? You Look, you cut all around but the clump. Get rid of the clump. I'm not happy about keeping that clump. All right, could you please cut it off? Everyone's going to be talking about the clump, but if you haven't yeah, got the clump... I've got to walk around town every day and not look like a pillock. Yeah, but Jesse, everyone's going to be saying, what did the clump look like? You know, and, and you... My, my friends still find the fact that I have one shaved leg and the other one highly hilarious. I'm still the talk of many meetings. Don't worry about that. Hi, who's that? Line one. Yeah.